Hey, this is Alan Lee here with Honestly Handyman Services out of Sacramento, California, and you guessed it, today we are replacing a over-the-range microwave oven. So thank you all so much for tuning in. So we're going to get going on here. Here, first off, I am bringing in the new microwave. Step one, remove the ducting cover so you can access the ducting up there and figure out what you need to do to get that off. So here I am cutting the old duct tape off of the uh, exhaust ducting work so I can move that up out of the way. It doesn't need to move up very much, just you know, maybe an inch or so just to get it out of the way of the microwave. And then once you get that removed, make sure you unplug the microwave obviously. And then there are two mounting bolts on the top of the microwave that just hold it in place. And here I am removing it. And uh, if you can see, I am going to have a learning experience here. And uh, if you guys have done this before, you understand what it is. And I should have removed, I should have moved that um, that stove out of the way before I did this. It makes it a little bit difficult because you can't quite get in there. But once you remove those top two bolts, it kind of swivels down. It's still held to the wall via a bracket, which you'll see here in a few minutes. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to have to kind of make the weird maneuver of moving that stove out while holding the microwave up which is always a little tricky and then you get it out kinda gotta hinge it down and pull it up off of that mount on the back and then I'm going to go ahead and unbox the new microwave and you'll be seeing here in a few minutes I'll be pulling out the um, the new wall mount that I'll be putting on the wall it's pretty much the same exact thing as the old wall mount um, just the mounting on the specific microwave is a little bit different, so the few tabs that are on it are just slightly different. Um, but here's the new microwave. It does need an adjustment. If you have a vent over the top, you need to take the exhaust fan blower out and actually flip it. Just rotate it one, one rotate and put it right back in, and that's what I'm doing right here. You can see there's a few screws that need to be removed for that to happen. And then you pull the blower out, as you can see I am right now, and then I'm going to rotate it just so the blower assembly is facing upwards. It was facing forwards before, that would just exhaust it out the front of the microwave, and now we're going to make it so it exhausts out the front of the microwave. And here I am going to zoom in with the camera here in a second and show you guys exactly what I meant by when I rotated that blower motor. You can see there it is on the top now. So all the exhaust will come out the top of the unit instead of the front of the unit and then this is a little cover that comes with it that hooks right into the vent. And here's the wall mount that I was telling you guys about. Um, the new one is pretty much the exact same as the old one, so I just traced it. Take the old one off, and then you're going to put the new one on with these nice toggle bolts that they give you. Um, and you're just going to put those on using the existing holes or make new holes, whatever works for this. Uh, for this one, I had to drill new holes. No big deal. There's the toggle bolt going into the wall. And then once you get that wall mount put on, that's pretty straightforward, you want to make your measurements for your top uh, hold down bolts, and then you're going to drill your holes for that, as they are different for every microwave, so you need to measure that and make sure that is correct. Uh, you got your new microwave in hand, you put the cord up, and then you want to kind of hinge, hinge the microwave onto that wall mount, and you kind of got to reach around it to make sure they kind of click in, and you'll see here, they clicked in there and then it hinges up, you want to make sure it is fully on that or the microwave will fall and that will not be fun. So you hinge it up and then you just go ahead and put it up there and then you re-secure it with the two mounting bolts up top, one on either side and hopefully your holes were correct that you measured or you'll need to re-drill them. And then uh, now time to hook the ducting back up and you can see the two uh, mounting bolts on either side right there. So I got the, the ductwork just sitting in there. I'm going to test it, make sure it works before I hook the ducting back up with some new duct tape. And then I'm going to put my ducting cover back on. And the next step is cleaning. I'm going to clean everything up. We're going to put the stove back. And that is pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to installing an over-the-range microwave oven. Um, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a great day.